Hey, it's Jared with another Elementor tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a text heading and how to edit that heading. So in a previous tutorial, I talked about how to set the font and the color and sizes for headings globally so you don't have to do this every single time. So if you're wanting to just make an individual change, that's what this video is for. Uh, if you are wanting to set global defaults, which I highly recommend, global defaults are definitely um, the best way to go because when you have your settings set globally, then it's uh, it, every time you drop in a new heading, it's gonna be formatted properly right away. And that's what you want, it's gonna save you a ton of time. That also means that when you go and make a change to that global setting, it's going to update all of the headings throughout your website, which makes that process much easier. For example, if you decided, you know, I just really wish the headings were this other color or this other size, you can make that setting change once and it would affect the entire site. But uh, we're gonna assume that we have a, a new heading that we wanna create. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a section here. And so we'll just go ahead and create a section. I'm gonna add a little bit of margin on this section just to space it away from the slider area that we have above. And I'm gonna grab heading and drag heading right in. So you can see that the heading is a blue color font. It's a, a, a certain size. Um, these are the colors and the size defaults that I set in the global settings. So we're gonna edit them from here. I'm gonna center this because I, I would like it to be centered. Um, I'll change the, uh, the text. And I can also make a heading a link. Now I can type in any sort of link here or paste in a, a link to another web address. I can type start typing the name of another page that is on our website and it's gonna go ahead and give me some suggestions. Uh, or I can use dynamic tags here and do something like make it link to the site URL or a specific short code or something like that. Those are more advanced things. Underneath the gear here for link options, we can also set it to open in a new window or choose a, a no follow if we don't want the search engines to, uh, to track the, um, uh, you know, basically it's SEO stuff. Um, you would turn that on or off. So I can set the size here also. It kind of lets us go and just utilize some default sizes um, from small to double X, or we can just go with the default, which is what is set in the global settings. The HTML tag being H1 to H6 and then div span and paragraph um, are what you would set to set the emphasis. Now these H1, H2, H3 tags used to be a way to customize sizes, um, but these days, because everything, especially in Elementor, is so customizable, those are basically just heading tags that you can use, and the search engines still use heading tags to gauge relevance. Obviously, we're not gonna make everything on our web page a heading, and so uh, the search engines will look at headings as indicators as to what information is gonna be in that section. So I can set a heading tag, uh, like if it was the very top one on my page, I might set H1 because that's probably the main purpose of this page. But as I use headings down further down the page for smaller sections, I might use H2, and then headings under those, I might use H3, just so the search engines know that there's some sort of content hierarchy that we have on our page. So that's how uh, HTML tags work. Um, and you know they're not as important as they used to be, but the H1, H2, H3 tags still are good indicators that the search engines use. So I recommend uh, getting in a practice of just utilizing them. So uh, as you're laying out your page, uh, utilizing them appropriately. So under style, very simple editor changes here. We have our color. I can click primary, which is just going to set it to the default. Um, you can see I've got my different color options here that are the global colors that I set uh, when um, in another video, like I just discussed, the global colors can be set uh, and you can change those defaults. Um, but then of course the other global colors that I have set, I can choose from those as well, uh, which is great. So depending on um, what my color palette is, 
uh, you know, I can toggle through those. And then, of course, right here, customize that color to pretty much anything by just dragging the color picker around, uh, pasting in a hash code for a color, and then, of course, I can also set the opacity of that as well. These, uh, some of these settings come in uh, to play when you're maybe putting your heading over an image or something like that, and perhaps you need to change the color so that the heading doesn't, uh, so that it actually does contrast with the image and, and it doesn't conflict with the image to make it, uh, you know, hard to see. Sometimes, like, the image that's in the slider up here above, um, depending on where that text lands on the background, it can become a little bit hard to read. So setting those opacities definitely can help. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine set to the primary. Under the typography setting, we also have some global sizes that are available. And then we have our editor here, which allows us to change to any font. So we could change this to any font. We could change it to any font size. We can set the weight, which is the boldness of the, uh, the font. And so depending on your font, there might be a few or there might be a lot of different options here. We can also transform to all uppercase, lowercase, uh, and, and change that around. We can also add styling like italics or obliqueness to the text. We can add decoration like underline, line through, or whatnot. We can adjust the line height if we have multiple uh, lines of text. And then we can also set the letter spacing, which sometimes kind of makes things look a little bit nicer. Some fonts space the letters out too far. And so with the headings, sometimes it's really nice just to customize that and, uh, and, and you know, make it look good. So we've got a, a custom header here. This is all done and ready to go. Um, I, I, I like it. I actually like this font. It's pretty cool, a little futuristic looking. But I can drag that into place. And now with this image here, and this, you know, basic text, it's just fake text. The section's coming together and starting to look uh, halfway decent. So, um, yeah, not too bad. So editing headings uh, is pretty simple. Like I said, you want to look at how you could do it globally so that you don't have to do this every single time. You definitely want consistency throughout your website, so use the global settings. But if you do need to come in and edit a heading for a specific reason, now you understand everything that there is to know about this heading editor section, uh, from styling it to some of the more technical aspects of it. So definitely check out my Elementor course. I have a free Elementor course that walks you through everything. Uh, these tutorials are, are great just to kind of get you going, but the course will get you fully understanding how to use Elementor. I've got links to that down in the description below. Um, it's uh, uh, easy to access, free to access. You can either sign up on my own website or you can go over to Skillshare and get a free month of Skillshare using the link that I've provided and then um, you can get access to the course there as well. So definitely check out those links. Subscribe to the channel here so you can be notified when I put out new videos like this Elementor tutorial and hope to see you back in the next one soon. Take care.